We got a call on April 27th that there was an entangled humpback whale in Monterey Bay in the sanctuary. Kathy is part of the Whale Entanglement Team, a NOAA-regulated group of volunteers trained to respond to whales in distress. Usually in California here along the West Coast, we get eight calls per year. Finding the whale is the hardest part of disentanglement. It's a big ocean and a small whale compared to the ocean. This time, they were able to find the whale and respond. We went out the next day and we found the whale and we were able to cut off a crab pot and 250 feet of line to remove the most life-threatening part of the entanglement, but there was still a tight wrap on the peduncle, the tail stock where it meets the fluke. There were three tight wraps deeply embedded in with some skin grown over. We knew we needed to get the wrap off this whale. It was a subadult whale, 25 feet long approximately, which means that they're gonna grow to 40, 50 feet. So as the whale grows, the entanglement doesn't grow, and we knew that would be potentially the life-threatening thing. Unfortunately, conditions deteriorated where it was unsafe to be out there. So we headed back to shore, knowing we had the telemetry device on it. The telemetry device allows the team to track the whale's movements. We had to wait till the whale got into a good position and the weather would be safe for us to go out and respond. In this case, the team had to wait for two weeks, finally tracking down the whale off the coast of Santa Barbara. They set out early in the morning, carefully approaching the cetacean. It's kind of like jaws. You put barrels, in our case, we put buoys on the whale to slow it down and bring it to the surface. The team needed a different approach to remove the deeply embedded line so they wouldn't further hurt the animal. We decided to try an unwrap technique. We saw it was wrapped three times around the fluke. Can we unwrap this without having to cut it? So we had two boats that were working together to unwrap. After carefully unwrapping the first line, the team made one small cut, unwrapped a bit more, and freed the whale helping save one animal's life, but this isn't the solution to the problem. So we share all of our information with the NOAA Fisheries Office. For every one whale that we see entangled, there's roughly 10 whales that aren't being reported. This is happening because we have a growing population of whales, as well as we're taking more and more out of the sea. Out here on the West Coast, the crab pot is the most common entanglement that we see. There are going to be issues where we have lots of whales and fishing happening at the same time, so how can we minimize that? These are all human interaction cases. It's something that we as a species have done to this animal. So I want to be part of the team that can help bring some solutions and mitigations to the problem.